Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. I was wondering if someone out there could uh, buy me a cup of coffee this week. Yeah, seriously. You see, doing Catholic TV on the internet is a little exhausting and every now and then we need a jolt. You know, everyone is getting into the internet TV craze. It's beginning to explode. CBS, NBC, ABC each have all of their programming on the internet. Fox offers internet viewers regular access to breaking news stories. One outfit has even sent out a multi-million person email offering internet TV viewing from any TV station in the world for just a few bucks a month. And a few days ago, 90 bishops met in Rome to discuss how to best use the internet for evangelization. <laughs> they should have called us. The point of all this is simple. Just as TV became the dominant form of media in the last half of the 20th century, internet TV is poised to become the dominant force in the first half of this century. In fact, it's already begun. That's why we're here, and that's why we need to appeal to you to stay here. Every single outfit that opposes Christ and the church is on the internet and expanding rapidly. The same smut drivers of immoral primetime programs have eye-popping websites. Pornography traffickers have been the most lucrative entrepreneurs for years already. Other religious groups opposed to Catholicism have built or are building great internet sites. And they all use video, professional, well-produced video. Using text isn't enough anymore. See, at the end of the day, all of these people, in the last analysis, they finance themselves by selling sin. We Catholics must respond to this. We cannot let all of Satan's henchmen get control of this like they got control of the newspaper industry. We did nothing then. Now, they, when they got control of radio, that became the next big means of communication. We did virtually nothing. There's no need to explore the complete disaster that has been caused by letting Satan get control of television. So we are determined to have a solid Catholic voice expressed through video on the internet. Young people are all over the internet and so are lots of other people. They write us nearly every day saying thank you for helping me with my faith. Here's a postcard from a lady in Sacramento who watches Real Catholic TV, watches our programming on the premium channel. She reverted to the faith. I was on the phone till 2.30 in the morning two days ago talking to a college student, a freshman from a university in Iowa, and he said he watches all of our programming and he's using that now to help evangelize his Protestant roommates. So there's all kinds of uses for this. There's a priest in Pakistan who calls us and uses our programming. There's a group down at a, a parish in Florida that uses a lot of our material in their RCIA programming. All over. This is the beauty of the internet. For virtually nothing, you can begin to evangelize the world. But quite simply, we need your help to keep fighting or we're done. We've all been hit hard by the economy, but let me ask you this. Have you been hit so hard that you really can't afford just $10 a month? $10 a month. We did some calling around to coffee joints and got some prices of a medium cup of no frills coffee. At Tim Hortons, it's a buck forty. At Dunkin' Donuts, it's a dollar forty-seven. Starbucks will charge a buck eighty-six, and Caribou two dollars and one cents. Remember, that's a no frills cup of coffee. That makes the average a little less than a dollar seventy a cup. So when you do the math, for the price of about one and a little bit more cups of coffee a week you can help keep Real Catholic TV going. We need about 200 people to sign up and sign up really, really quickly. Now, this is a fun little cutesy way of demonstrating our need, but the need is dead serious. Lots of sacrifice, and I mean lots of sacrifice, goes into what happens here every day. Trust me, nobody's getting rich off this. We have over hundreds of hours of solid Catholic teaching available to our $10 a month premium subscribers. We provide an informative newscast every day, and we try hard in this Vortex episode to give you insights into the war being waged against the church, insights that you probably won't find anyplace else. But none of this is free. All we're asking for is your help, just a little bit of help. You may think 10 bucks a month doesn't really mean that much. Don't you believe it? Those monthly contributions mean the difference for us between life and death. So please, please click on the Go To Premium Access button right above me and sign up right now. Don't wait and tell your friends about it. Don't have all these different conversations and everything and not talk about the war that's being waged against the church. And this is a great effective weapon. You can educate yourself about the faith here. We have wonderful, wonderful programs. We have Shadow Priest. We have uh, uh, Moral Compass. We have all kinds of great programming here. One True Faith. All of these things that can help you learn the faith and spread the faith. And if we're Catholics and we're not doing that, then we're not being real solid Catholics. 
help spread the faith and use the internet to do it. Don't let evil win this communications medium like he's done all the others. So, I'll ask again. Can somebody just buy me a cup of coffee this week? God bless. I'm Michael Voris.